Argon is the 18th element on the periodic table. It is a noble gas, so again, I can't do any chemical reactions with it. So the best I can do is just to talk a little bit about it and show you a sample of it. Most of argon's uses stem from the fact that it is the cheapest noble gas. It is, for example, used in TIG welding because it will create an inert atmosphere around the weld so that the weld doesn't get rust in it. A mixture of it and carbon dioxide uh, are sometimes also used in MIG welding as well. Argon is also sometimes used in the packages of juices and such. Either there's a vacuum or it's packed with an inert gas. Probably it's most close to home use is mixed with nitrogen gas in ordinary light bulbs like this one. As you know from my nitrogen video, diatomic nitrogen that is found in the atmosphere and in these light bulbs is essentially inert. So both argon and nitrogen in this case are inert gases. In this kind of light bulb, the concentration of argon is much higher, over 90%. The first light bulbs, instead of having an inert gas, had a vacuum inside the bulb itself. However, you'd have to have very thick glass to hold the vacuum in. So then, after noble gases were understood, you started using noble gases in glass bulbs so that you could have pressure inside, so you could have very thin glass walls, but the filament wouldn't burn out. It is quite spectacular to see a tungsten filament with high voltage running through it in air. It'll burn up within a few seconds because of the presence of oxygen.